We live in the 21st century where there's lots of processed foods and lots of ways that your body did things without telling you. So you're going to teach me how to take out the trash? Yeah. The trash in my own brain. And if I take out the trash in my own brain, how is my life going to be better? You live in the 21st century where there's lots of processed foods and lots of ways that your body did things without telling you. So any injury that you've had, like a joint injury that keeps coming back every time you injure it, it, it is a little easier to injure the next time. Is there a ring around the middle that's more, more than pinch an inch? Is there a uh, distance uh, uh, in time where you say, I can focus for this many hours, but I can't do it for this many hours anymore? Those are all places where if you did this, if you were able to say, don't stop taking out the trash several times a year, several times a month, if you ask me, then you never have to come into this world that I just see people, they're, they're in quicksand, they're up to their waist. And getting them out, they need a real lifeline. And what are the current solutions people are typically offered when they're feeling, you know, all the, the ways that you described there where they just don't feel good, they have brain fog, they're, they might have chronic pain setting in in various ways. What are the typical solutions that Medicine 2.0 would offer them? A doctor is going to be with the covered insurance plan and he's going to say, tell me the symptoms. we will give you the drugs that will take away that one and take away that one and take away that one. What is always a downside is, well, play that forward for 10 years. Play it forward for five years. And are the symptoms gone? No, but it will bridge and hold up the architecture of the body and the human without actually fixing the problem, without actually diving in and say, you got some chemistry problems under the hood that you don't measure and you don't talk about. But if you did, even if you're not perfect, even if you're 70%, you're going to find yourself at the age of 54 with vitality and energy and sleeping through the night and not having what every other 54-year-old, which is chronic joint pain, a brain that can only focus for three to four hours without a break, uh, a stamina of uh, endurance and health and, and joy that falls apart.